I've had the wonderful privilege of being on staff at the same church for 43 consecutive years. And for the last 35 years, I've been the leader senior pastor. I have often wondered if it's because I was fearful of getting out of my comfort zone, or if it's a testimony to the perseverance of our congregation. I have finally concluded that this singular accomplishment is the result of God having His way in all of our lives over the long haul. I love what I do, and most of all, I love where I get to do God's call on my life, right here in Clovis, California. We try to live up to our name, to offer anyone and everyone in our community a fresh dose of hope in whatever situation or difficulty they're going through. If you need a place to get married, we're that cute little country chapel on knees, and we've said yes to hundreds over the years. If you're looking for a setting to remember the life of a friend or a loved one at a memorial service and then host a reception afterwards, we work hard to always say yes. You need a place to recover from ministry burnout or abuse? Many have found fresh hope at New Hope, and once again, they're restored to ministry. Or a family disintegrating before your eyes? We've tried to be a safe place, offering people resources and ministry options to survive and recover. This has also been a place where many of us have raised our kids, and now we're working on our grandkids. This has been a place where friendships run deep and long. We've never been a perfect church. We acknowledge that we're flawed. But our belief in and dependence upon the all-sufficiency of Jesus Christ is what has sustained us. The church is not perfect, but our Savior is. We desire to be a selfless church, spending more on missions and ministries than what the norm or even what's expected. We've been debt free for 25 plus years and this has allowed us to spend more monies on outreach outside our congregation. We've been able to exceed 25% in outside giving over what we've received over the years, both in our community and around the world. From the rescue mission to Heinz Hospice, from Mexico to Africa, we've experienced great joy in offering new hope to so many. We've not only given of our financial resources, but also of time and experience as members of our staff and our congregation have been engaged in the community. We volunteered as police chaplains for over 20 years in Fresno and Clovis. We've served as hospice chaplains and ministry board members. We've fed the hungry. We've ministered to the homeless through the rescue mission. We've supported those in other kinds of needs through Love, Inc. Thousands of hours of work with prison fellowship, going behind prison walls and also assisting returning citizens to our community. We've served on multiple Clovis Unified School District committees, raising funds for veterans. This is also our home community, and we have a heart to make a difference. We believe this is the time to add a new building to our current facilities so that we can better serve not only our church family, but also the community. Since we are still known as that country church, we're gonna call our new building the barn. We trust it will be filled with hope. Its primary purpose is to facilitate larger receptions for families at the conclusion of a memorial service. It's designed to host holiday church-wide events in a place where citizens in the community can come and gather for special needs and important occasions. Like we did when 911 happened and citizens from all over town came to pray that evening for prayer and look for hope. I've attempted throughout my ministry not to preach much on giving and tithing. God has always met our needs without begging. I've done fundraising for a lot of other ministries, but I've never gone outside of New Hope to raise resources for our own purposes. But over the last several months, people in the community have said to me, Tim, when are you going to build something new? What's the next project? We would like to help out. That's always exciting for a pastor to hear but I'm not quite wired to call people up and say, hey, remember what you said? Time to cough it up. So this short video message is as high pressure as I'm gonna get. And I gotta be honest, I feel a little awkward even doing this. But if you've ever benefited from hope through our church, if you've appreciated our place in the community and you would like to assist us in this project, please go to our website, get the details on what we're doing and discover how you might decide to give. Thanks for enduring this talk, and thanks for praying for new hope. And if you decide to join us in a financial commitment to the barn, let me just say now, thank you. Thank you very much.